What's going on family? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to train your triceps from home with only one equipment, one dumbbell. You can do this workout as a standalone workout or you can take a few workouts or a few exercises from this workout. You can pair it with other workouts from my channel or you can, you know, use something that you're already used to. Let's get right to it, y'all. Okay, for our first workout here, we've got some overhead dumbbell presses, four sets, eight to 12 reps. Weight used in this is 80 pounds. So if you have access to an 80 pound dumbbell or a heavy dumbbell, do eight to 12 reps. And if you have access to only a lightweight dumbbell, do 15 to 20 reps. So start by holding the dumbbell over your head and lowering slowly until you feel tension in your triceps. Here's a tip for you guys right here. You should make sure that you lower the dumbbell as far as your arms can let you and be careful not to hurt yourself. It's easy to hurt yourself with this. Also, control your breathing. Very important. One more tip for this one right here. Make sure that you're lifting the weights all the way up before lowering it. So avoid locking your elbows. So don't, you know, straighten your, your arm all the way. So just slightly. Also, 45 second to one minute break between each set is all I'd advise. And you want to take about one minute's rest between each exercise. Okay, for our next one here, we've got some single tricep extensions. Four sets, eight to 12 reps per arm. You want to use a 30 pound dumbbell for this or anything else that you have access to. So if you think the dumb dumbbell that you have is too light, make sure you do as much as 20 reps. So start in a leaning position and tuck one arm to a side and keep your elbow locked in while extending your tricep. That's how you would do this. Something else you should note for this exercise is that you want to make sure that you're kicking back the dumbbell without compromising the starting position of your body. So whatever position you start in, so your leaning position, you want to make sure that you're not compromising that. You want to make sure that you remain in that position. You keep your elbows in the same position. Everything stays the same. It's the only thing that's moving is your arm. You're only extending your triceps. One last tip for this one right here. You want to make sure that you're extending a dumbbell all the way until your arm straightens out. So basically till it's almost straightened out, not all the way. So you don't want to lock your elbows on most of these, but try to extend them all the way out as best you can. For our next one here, we've got some high diamond push-ups. Four sets, eight to 12 reps. I use 30 pound dumbbell in this, but you don't need to use any specific kind of weight. You can use whatever you want. So start by standing the dumbbell on its side, balance on it safely, and then push up and down. Do it without the dumbbell, you know, for less of a challenge, or if that's all you have is, you know, no dumbbell, if you have no dumbbell. Here's a pointer for you guys right here. Make sure you're going all the way down before pushing back up so you got to go all the way down feel that tension in your triceps before you know you push back upwards that's how you complete this properly the next tip for this one and the final tip is that you want to maintain a close distance between both of your feet so try to keep them close or at least as close as possible and you know for the proper form Okay, our next one here, single arm overhead press. Four sets, eight to 12 reps per arm. So I use 30 pounds in this, and for this one, you want to do as much as 20 to 30 reps. You know, if you're feeling like the, the dumbbell that you have is too light. So if you have a lightweight dumbbell, go as high as 20 reps. Start in a kneeling position, lower the dumbbell from one side down towards the other until you feel tension in your triceps. So you lower it from one elbow all the way to the other one, you know, basically from one shoulder to the next one. So here's your first pointer right here. You want to make sure that you're not rushing through it. You want to lower the dumbbell very slowly. Well, not very slowly, but slowly not rushing through it is very important don't blaze through it One 
one last tip for you guys if you're finding it hard to balance you can use your arm your inactive arm you know place it behind your back or on your lower abdomen for support or you know for better balance it's just my way of doing things but you don't have to do that whatever you do just make sure that you know you keep and maintain the same position that you're starting with throughout the entire exercise Okay, here we go. Behind the back extensions, four sets, 12 reps. Weight used in this was 45 pounds. If you only have access to lighter weight dumbbells, do what we've been doing, you know, using uh, throughout the entire workout. Make sure you go higher. So 15 to 20 reps should be good enough, or you can go higher if you feel that's, you know, not good enough. So start by leaning forward, hold the dumbbell behind your knees, and then extend it backwards. Okay, for our next tip here, you want to make sure that you're extending your arm all the way until your elbows are almost straight. So you extend those arms until you feel your triceps, you know, uh, the tension in your triceps. Some more tips for you guys right here. You want to make sure that you're, you keep your elbow locked in and do not move them from the, the starting position as you kick back the dumbbell. So keep them locked in. They have to stay in the same position. Maintain the same position with your elbows throughout the entire routine. Okay, for our final workout in this one, you want to use 30 pound dumbbells. We've got single arm outward extensions, four sets, eight to 12 reps per arm. For this one right here, you make sure you do as much as 20 reps per arm if the dumbbell you're using is too light. Start in a leaning position, flare your elbow all the way out and extend your arm all the way until you feel tension in your triceps. We've got some more tips here. So for this one, you want to make sure that you're extending your arm all the way until your elbows are almost straight. So they got to be almost straight every single extension. Something else that's very important that you should note is that you should maintain the same elbow position throughout the entire exercise. So this one I've said about virtually every tricep exercise because that's very important when you're doing tricep workouts. For the final tip in this one right here, you want to maintain the same leaning position you're starting throughout. So do not compromise it. Do not ruin it. You gotta stay in that position while you kick back, while you kick out, you know, the dumbbell. Also, don't forget you, you only get 45 seconds to one minute break between each set. There's a single dumbbell workout you can do for your triceps from home or wherever you are, as long as you have access to a single dumbbell. If you found this video helpful or if you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel grow. Subscribe if you're new to my channel and turn on notifications so you can be notified every time I drop a brand new video. If you're looking for more videos like this one, make sure to check out the video on the screen right now and I'll catch you out in my next video. You already know how it is, man. It's your boy, Midas, and I'm out.